this video is walk you guys through your first essay assignment. Um, and this essay is your argument essay. It's focused on creating argument with a clearly stated position on an issue of your choosing um, with solid and rele relevant evidence. So um, that is the prompt. It's very simple. You're going to choose an issue that has you know multiple sides to it. Um, and you're going to take a particular stance on that issue and argue that stance. So what you cannot do in this essay is argue the pros and cons or both sides of the issue. You do have to take a stance. Um, even if it's something that you yourself are not fully decided on your stance on the issue, um, you must take a stance for the purposes of this essay. So you get to choose the topic that is of most interest to you um, or something that you feel you can write about for, for this essay and you're going to carry the same topic and stance into your second essay. So you need to choose something that you don't mind writing about for the next several weeks. Just know that whatever you do choose is subject to instructor approval. That is because I know the expectations for this essay and the next, and I wanna make sure that you are set up for success. Um, so that's why you do have to have your topic and your stance approved. So essentially what you're doing is you are choosing an issue and you're going to argue that your stance is correct. So for example, if you wanted to talk about um, you know, the topic of clean energy, your stance could be that, that government needs to fund more clean energy uh, vehicle manufacturing. That would be a clear topic and a clear stance. The other part of it that's really important is that you have some kind of action item in your stance. So don't just talk about the fact that there's an issue or a problem you need to have a proposed solution within that. So um, another example might be, uh, you may wanna argue about legalization of marijuana. Um, the topic could be you know, the legalization of marijuana. The stance could be that we should legalize marijuana, um, but you need to have specifics within that stance. So in this case, I might say, you know, are you going to legalize it on a national or a state level up to a certain amount? Would it be medicinal only, that kind of thing? So to have a really solid thesis claim, you might argue something like, I believe we should legalize marijuana on a national level up to whatever, two ounces or whatever it is for recreational use. That would be a very clear topic and stance with a proposed solution inside of it. Now what you cannot do is have something that is opinion based. So um, qualitative states like best or most um, would be difficult to prove through an argument. So you don't want to have something that says something like, uh, I would like to argue that LeBron is the greatest of all time. While that might be true, that's a qualitative state. Greatest of all time is a qualitative state, and it's not something that can be proven with concrete research um, and, and fact-based logical reasoning. Um, so make sure that you avoid something that's kind of broad or generalized like that and try to have a very narrow, specific argument. So I've had students do all kinds of topics on uh, in this essay. So you could, I've had students do things about like I said, clean energy, about um, hormones and beef, about abortion rights, about um, COVID mandates, um, about um, all kinds of things. So again, the topic and choice is up to you, but you need to make sure that whatever you're choosing is something that you can write about for several weeks. So something you genuinely are interested in or care about. Um, the essay is going to be three to four pages in length and is due on Sunday, September 25th at 11.59 p.m. That means you have to write to the bottom of the third page at minimum. If you don't write to the bottom of the third page, um, it's going to have points taken off. MLA formatting is required, so that means that it's double-spaced, one-inch uh, one margins all around, double-spaced font, um, Times New Roman, Cambria, Calibri, Arial font. Um, that you have a header in the top left corner which has your name, the instructor's name, the course and section number and the date, and page numbers in the top right, and a title. Um, so everything is going to be checked for plagiarism, so make sure that you uh, are citing any sources that are used. You are not required to cite to use sources for this essay, um, but you are more than welcome to if you like. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is that because you're going to be writing about this in your same topic and stance, you can't change it. In your second essay where you will be adding research, you're going to have to conduct an interview with a subject matter expert. That could be via phone, via email, via 
in person, whatever it might be, but it does need to be someone who has some credible authority on the issue you're talking about. So if you're talking about an issue with education, you'll need to, you know, you may want to reach out to a professor or a teacher or a colleague um, who is in the education field. If you are talking about um, COVID-19 mandates, uh, uh, vaccine mandates in, um, in hospitals, you may want to talk to someone who works in a hospital, like a nurse or a doctor or an admin. Um, so just keep that in mind as you kind of choose your topic. I wouldn't choose anything too obscure that you don't have anyone to talk to. So for this essay, your, um, your uh, I say outline, I apologize, the, the, this, the uh, topic proposal must be approved by myself. The essay's gotta have all general parts of an essay, so an introduction with a clear thesis claim, like the examples I've given here. The body paragraphs, which include your main ideas, um, relevant evidence to support that. In this case, again, does not have to be research. It can be if you'd like to include one or two sources, but you do need to um, have logical fact-based reasoning to support your ideas. That's your evidence in this case. Um, a conclusion as well, which kind of wraps up your argument and restates your thesis and your claim in new words. Um, and then uh, you'll come to see this, but part of a really strong argument is acknowledging and then refuting opposing viewpoints, or what are called counter arguments. So in this case, if I was going to talk about the legalization of marijuana and how I think it should be legalized on a national level up to two ounces for recreational use, I would want to acknowledge the other side of the argument and then disprove it. So I would want to say, I understand that there are other people who believe that, I don't know, marijuana is addictive and can lead to you know further drug use and then i would say however it has been proven that it is not addictive and does da, 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 da. so that's something you're going to want to include as well um, and that is covered in more detail within these units so part of your final submission requirements is that you're actually going to do an outline for this that will already have been submitted, so you don't need to resubmit it, but it's gonna count as part of your essay grade. And the reason for that is because not only is it set you up for success in the essay, but it does give you guys a little bit of padding in your essay grade as well. So I believe it's 15 or 20 points of your essay will, count, will be, part, will be uh, from your outline as well. So if, as long as you do that, then you're automatically getting 15 or 20 points in your essay. And then really the only thing you'll need to submit is a final draft of your essay as a Word document. Um, if you choose to use any sources, make sure you include a works cited page as well. Um, but again, it is not required for this essay. So as I said, you're gonna do an outline assignment, which there's a whole separate um, section for that with a template for you. But I've included an example here just in case you wanna reference it um, as to how a good outline can be set up. But um, like I said, this is, this is a, a topic that is your choice. I want you to choose something that's of interest to you. And um, you're going to go ahead and, I believe, submit the uh, essay proposal, a topic proposal to me. Um, so if you have any questions or if you want to run anything by me, feel free to email me and let me know. But otherwise, go ahead and move on.